On today's episode, we're going to discuss gauges. What gauges you should use, what gauges I use, and, well, the different brands of gauges. Uh, there's a lot of talk that Glow Shift sucks, this pro's the way to go. Uh, well, everyone has their own opinions. I personally choose to use Glow Shift, and I've had very, very good luck with them. One key to make glow shifts work is when you turn the key on, they need to come on, but when you go to start the truck, they need to stay on. Whenever you have them to a key to on, like the radio, when you turn the key on, they come on, and when you go to start the truck, they go off and come back on. That causes them to do more cycles than they should, and that's one thing that makes them wear out. All right, so which gauges should you use? In any application, a pyrometer is, I'm gonna say mandatory. If you have a diesel stock, you know, slightly turned up or just balls to the wall, you need to have a pyrometer. Uh, it's one of the most important gauges you can have. Uh, it'll save the life of your engine and uh, it'll let you know overall how the engine's doing. Um, Next, depending on what kind of truck you have, uh, if you have a VP44 truck or a common rail truck, you got to have a fuel pressure gauge. Uh, you just need it. Now, if you have a P-pump truck 12 valve or a P-pump 24 valve, it's not as important because um, if you do lose fuel pressure, it won't kill the pump immediately. You'll know it because you'll lose power, but it will not kill the pump. Now let's talk about boost gauges. Boost gauges are a controversy. You don't have to have them. They're cool. Uh, yeah, it lets you know what your loud thing under the hood's doing, but it's really not necessary. Um, in my case, I need it because I have to keep my boost down uh, just because I do not have aftermarket head bolts. So I've got to keep mine under 40. Uh, but um, if I had head bolts, it really wouldn't be that as important, uh, but I also still like it. Now I have these three gauges here, and eventually I'll have three more over here. I'm going to be doing a diff temp, a uh, dual air intake temp for a pre and post intercooler, and then, uh, uh, you know what, I really don't know what else I'm going to do after that, but I'll have a spot for one. I like gauges, you can never have too many. Now here... Here's a better shot of what I got going on. This is reading off my OBD2. Uh, I can still read a, quite a few more gauges. Uh, this is just the most important ones to me. Now the boost on the top left is intermediate boost. For compounds, this is something you really need to have uh, so you know what your turbos are doing. Along with an exhaust pressure, which is the, right, the one next to boost. Now on this truck, um, it's reading barometric pressure here at idle. I'm not sure why, uh, but even if I turn the truck off and leave the key on, it's still going to read 14.7 uh, to 15, depending on what barometric pressure is. Uh, it's very weird. I don't like it, but it is what it is. Uh, but my compounds do run one to one, which is what you want. Now, transmission, if you have an automatic, is one that's very, very important. You need to keep your transmission as cool as possible with whatever you're doing. That will extend the life of it tremendously. Uh, this truck never gets over 150 uh, unless I'm just driving through town really heavy with the transmission never locked. Voltage is not very important uh, on most trucks, but power stroke alternators have a really hard time producing a lot of voltage and are very prone to uh, going bad, so that's why I have it. Uh, the torque converter torque, which is down here, I'm not real sure how accurate it is, but I think it's kind of cool to have. Now, on another uh, video, we will go over my setup for my phone here that reads the gauges. I'm using the Torque app, but I have a phone that is dedicated to this truck. I have it hardwired. I have the battery taken out of the phone. I have the wire soldered in uh, to the phone to a voltage regulator that reduces the voltage down to 3.8 volts. Uh, so the phone can stay on all the time. Now this is a uh, an app. I'm not sure what it's called, but we can go over it another time. That uh, this is what it goes to when I turn the truck on. Uh, it gives me my miles per hour and my main apps that I want to use. 
Um, see here, I can just go straight to torque. And it goes straight to my gauges. That's what I really like about it. I don't have to go to the home screen or nothing like that. It just goes straight to my gauges. Now, glow shift is what I prefer. Um, a lot of people don't like them. Uh, most people will prefer ISPRO. Um, I've ran ISPRO. I like ISPRO. Uh, they do give you a lot more options, you know, face plates, uh, different types of gauges that they offer. Glow shift is more of a generic, simple uh, setup. Um, I've had no issues with them. Uh, like I said, I set them up that when the key's on, it comes on for the first time, and when you go to start the truck, it stays on. Uh, that's something I found that will make it last, and I've talked to Glow Shift, and they said that's something that will make it last as well. The wiring that they come with is extremely simple. They come with two plugs that just plug straight into the back of it. You don't have to do no crimping of the wires or anything like that. It comes with a sensor plug, you know, that'll go to your sensor, whatever you're using, and then it comes with a main harness, which is four wires. It's a main power, a keyed on, a, a dimmer switch, and a ground and it's uh, about a four foot whip, uh, some of them are different, and uh, makes this makes the uh, wiring so much simpler. Mine, in the gauge pod, I have them all tied together, so I just have one cluster coming down uh, to my keyed on power and my ground. Now the sensor wires are all separate, but the main cluster that turns them on is all one. <laughs> makes it very simple. Autometer, autometer's been around for a long time, they're good, don't get me wrong, but they're old school. Uh, you're gonna run several wires up to your dash. Um, they don't have no quick connects like they used, uh, like ISPRO and uh, Glow Shift. And I have not had good luck with them. The pyrometer, whenever you turn it off, always sticks at two or 300, I'm not sure why. Uh, and after about two years, I've had a problem with it not being very accurate. The boost gauges are simple, they're mechanical they last forever uh, but I don't like them as much because it's just a backlight and they don't look as modern as an ISPRO or a uh, glow shift I like the glow shift you can change the colors to whatever you would like um, and that's about it on gauges if y'all have any questions please let me know um, next time we'll go over my uh, phone down here on exactly how I did the whole entire setup and what you would need to do if you have an older 12 valve uh, that does not have all of the OBD2 settings like my Ford here does. Uh, anyways, hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.